with Danaby Goods and today I'm going to show you the MTD Kingston Air Bass. Um, this is a beautiful bass made of course by Michael Tobias and Michael Tobias Design. Um, let's get right into the features. It has a carved ash body with a flame maple top on it and it's offered in a couple finishes. You've got the translucent cherry and the uh, tobacco sunburst, both high gloss finishes. And um, some of the common features to all Kingston basses will be found here also. It's a one-piece maple asymmetrical neck. Um, the air is available in a four and a five string version. The four string is 34 inch scale. The five string is 35 inch scale. Um, all Kingstons have the BuzzFeed and tuning system on them. Um, they also all feature the MTD Kingston quick release bridge. Now some uh, unique features to the air is obviously the electronics package. We have the uh, open pole piece Alnico uh, a bridge pickup. We have the, uh, the uh, J-style open pole piece uh, in the neck pickup position. You have a three band active EQ and that's what these knobs here are. You have your bass, middle and treble. This is your pickup pan. So this is kind of like you roll it back you're going to get just the, the uh, bridge pickup. As you roll it forward you're going to get just the neck pickup. And there's a center notch, a detente that um, allows you to uh, feel where it's perfectly centered between the two. And of course your master volume. Um, it's a beautiful bass. Uh, you can get a lot of different tones with this uh, pickup configuration, which is over the years has been one that I've really favored. Um, let's isolate each pickup so you can kind of get a flavor um, for each sound. So if we roll back to just the bridge, of course, as you know, anytime you play a pickup that's closer to the bridge, you're going to get a tighter sound, maybe less warm and fat, but a lot of definition, and that's exactly what you get here. It's great for harmonics. You get these really chimey, defined harmonics, which I really like. Um, so here's a little sound. punchy, tight, and defined. Now it's interesting because Michael chose to put uh, the larger uh, pickup here. Even though it's in a position which is normally very thin sounding, it actually still has some weight. It makes it usable as just that pickup alone. I've had some bases where when I dial back to just the bridge pickup, it's great for chordal playing, two-hand tapping, uh, some soloing aspects, but it, not fat enough to really lay down a bass line. And I think you'll be pleased that this pickup by itself still is punchy and, and has a lot of warmth to it. Now let's go the opposite direction to just the neck pickup. Traditionally neck pickups have a lot more warmth. They uh, seem a little bit more woody sounding to me, a little more organic, but don't have a lot of definition. So here's this sound. And here's how it sounds slap. cool sound, kind of older school sound. Now let's let's go to the middle. So we have both pickups equally. Right away when you just hear me play finger style, you'll hear the definition from the uh, bridge pickup and the warmth from the neck pickup. colors you can get with this bass are pretty varied. And really I just showed you the extremes, you know, uh, one pickup soloed, the other pickup soloed, both pickups equal. Really when you get your air you should take it home and really toy with this pan control. Leave uh, all the uh, EQs in the middle position initially and then just kind of go a little bit forward, a little bit back and try to see what colors are available in between. I think you'll be impressed with how many tones you can actually get from this one bass leaving all the EQ uh, flat. Once you kind of find those sweet spots that you like, then start tweaking with the EQ. Maybe to boost some mids, cut some mids, you know, and, and do things like that, which will further customize your sound. Uh, yeah, so I really, really, really like the Air Bass. I think it's got a lot of tonal varieties. I think it's gorgeous. A very uh, comfortable bass to wear, not too heavy. And I recommend that you check one out. If you want a bass with a lot of colors that can go both old school and new school, and um, that's just a, a lot of fun to play. So there you have it. If you have more questions, please just go to www.mtdkingston.com. You'll uh, see products pages with all the bases that we uh, offer along with the strings and the gig bags. And you'll be able to email us questions from there too. So thank you so much for stopping by and check out an MTD Kingston Air for yourself.